Well, hello there. Welcome back to the channel. But if you are new here, welcome. My name is Chewy, and we play EU4 on this channel. Today, we're going to be starting a new series in EU4 as Poland. Poland is strong, and I'm going to prove it to you. We're going to have some fun with some cavalry. Uh, we're going to go through the mission tree. This is vanilla with uh, Iron Man on, so maybe we'll even try to get some achievements along the way. I'm sure you guys know what Poland is. They're, they're a heavy cav-focused nation, lots of PUs, lots of ways to expand into the Ottomans, into the HRE, into Russia. Plenty of fun to have. If you guys have not already, leave a like on the video. I do appreciate that quite a bit. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out more content to come. If you ding the bell, you'll get notifications whenever I upload new videos. I do have a second channel a lot of people may not know about called Chubert, where I post some edited content. A lot of fun stuff going on over there. So if you want to check out that, you can check it out. Linked in the description. And my patrons will actually get early access to all of my Chubert content as well. I couldn't do this without the support from the wonderful people on Patreon. But enough of my yabbering. Let's play some Poland. Well, here we are. It's been a couple of weeks since we've started a new series here on the channel. So welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I'm sure in my intro, I explained at least a little bit about what we're going to be doing today. Uh, but we are going to be starting a new campaign here. And uh, the intention is, is we are going to lean into Aristocratic for Cav Combat Ability, as well as Espionage for, you guessed it, more Cav Combat Ability. If you can see down there, the Noble Loyalty Act gives you an additional 10%. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be having a lot of fun with this one. So I hope you guys are excited. Buckle up because it's going to be a good one. Poland is super strong, super, super strong. And uh, I think it's just going to be a lot of fun in the long term anyways. So let's go ahead and rival some people. Denmark is fine. Hungary is fine. Teutons is fine. You don't have to waste an alliance slot on these guys because they're already going to rival you. Or they're already going to become IPU, rather. Let's go ahead and uh, ally the... Austria. We could go Orthodox. I'm not opposed to the idea. I mean, it's going to make expanding into HRE more of a pain in the butt, but at the end, I don't know. Screw it. I say we go, I say we go Orthodox. I don't know. If we're not Orthodox by the end of the episode, I'll uh, open it up to the comments and see what you guys say. Because I plan to only record the first episode or two. So, since the uh, previous series, I have changed up the mod pack just a little bit. Instead of uh, GMI with the terrain shadows, I got the one without terrain shadows. Um, it is it, it removes the snow effect, but you still have the terrain shadows. And I also got a mod that removes the little city things, but it still shows you forts. So, from a quick glance, you can see here, like an enemy, enemy territory, you can see, oh, there's a fort here. Without having to look at all the the city sprawl, so when you get into the late game, I think it might help with performance. Not really sure. Uh, I haven't put them in my mod pack, but I will if somebody would like me to. Um, we have an economy, I suppose. We can just because we're gonna definitely turn our army maintenance down a bit. Let's start off by opening this up. We have the Golden Liberty for our Schlata. Now I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna pronounce everything wrong except for uh, Plock. That is the only collect correct pronunciation I know. I know Plock Wisna. Rawa, Warsaw, right? No, it's a joke, I know. Polish words are very hard for me to pronounce. I, I try and I try and I try, but uh, it's hard. So this is giving us a ton of manpower. Wow, this is actually pretty good. Interesting, all right. Well, I mean, we'll obviously we'll get rid of it eventually because it's minus 15% absolutism, which is going to be problematic for us. Let's go ahead and go with... Da -da -da -da. Free Enterprise, Patronage of the Arts, of course. Looks like our prestige is too high, so we can't get the, the extra prestige, but that's okay. Um, let's go with Supremacy, right a Council. I will focus on the mill power right off the rip, uh, because getting ahead on mill is very important. Let's go ahead and go with Oversight of the Clergy. And uh, sell titles, Yoink Crown Land, and then we'll get that up ASAP. Uh, we can go with eight more infantry, so let's go ahead and go with that whenever we, our manpower will allow it. And, um, yeah, let's turn our forts down here and then get some advisors, at least level ones. Go with prestige, is, that's fine with me. That'll actually probably keep us in the positive. Trade efficiency is always a good one. And uh, discipline, sounds good. We'll go up to speed five here and let's pull our armies somewhere where they won't be as uh, useful here. And so I, I have the, my maintenance turned down. The reason being is because we're going to send our mich missionary over here. Going to get these uh, these zealots 
you can see here, it says Volhynian Separatists, but if you wait, it'll say Orthodox Zealots now. So that is good. Uh, obviously, we want to pick up another ally if we can. Maybe like a Brandenburg would be good. There we go. And that gives us, yep, these guys. Hopefully, we can get Moldavia. I'm going to go ahead. I, I don't actually know if, uh, if relations with you affects them coming under us. If we don't get them, we don't get them. It's not the end of the world, but I would like to either way. And uh, our mission tree, build to the force limit. So we have a vanilla mission tree with a couple of extra missions. I actually forgot about that. Um, I suppose we'll, we'll probably just wait on that mission. There's no reason to click it right now, right? It's fine. We do have three forts, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and, um, oh, I'm not a great power, really. Yikes, barely not a great power. All right, cool. Um, now, I'm sure this is going to be one of those things. That, well, actually, I, I remember I read a guide because I know Rez a while ago said, don't take the Jagellion, just take the uh, the good leader and use that mana to conquer them. We're just going to take the take the Jagellion. I, I don't care. I, I really don't care at all. So going with the Jagellion, we get Kajmir's, Kajmir's Yag Yagayan, I think is how it's actually pronounced, like Yagaj Yagayan, something like that. Well, I'm going to call him the Jagellion because I'm American and we speak English here. Um, so... We are going to go with the elective monarchy. Very good. Our heir is a 433 who is 30 years older than my guy. Uh, so, or 20 some years older. So that'll work. Now we will become a great power and I can influence them. It's just good to influence your subjects. Always do it. It costs a lot of money, but it will give them an extra mana per month for the whole game. So it's really, really good. Um, now, spending all my money initially is probably not a great move, but it's okay. Now, I definitely am hoping that getting my relations with them as high as possible will affect uh, Roman inva Roman's invasion or whatever. I don't actually know. I have no idea. I'm already guaranteeing them. Okay, cool. That is fine with me then. So, we have a truce with the Teutons. We could attack Hungary. They don't have any friends. Hmm. Uh, well. I mean, shoot. We might as well. Yeah. We got our subject now. They have a fort here that's fully maintained. Let's get our boys on the border there. Let's actually go ahead and split. Do a shuffle split here so we get two equal armies there, roughly. And uh, let's get a general and our guy. I don't have plan to have Kazimierz in there. They didn't pick up any more allies, so they just have Croatia now. Sealy won't even join them, so let's go ahead and humiliate them. Uh, I will send him in. This is maybe not super intelligent. And we will go ahead and get some spy network on them. I will recall my late, my relation with you. Yeah, I'm actually going to have you not. And just have uh, have the Lithuanian supplement my manpower. Get a nice uh, humiliate early on. It'll be good. No, I'm not gonna not gonna lose a stab. Not this early. In fact, I'd actually like to boost my stab up. That way we can start working on some prosperity. Now, um, we could go for the Humiliate, which would give us one of these guys, allow us to possibly pop our Golden Arrow a little early. Though there's not really any rush to pop our Golden Arrow. We can pop it late if we want. Uh, the Second Era, Age of uh, Reformation, is when we're going to start really getting into the, um, the very solid... Hold on a minute. Am I recording right now? I am. Okay, my OBS was acting up. I was about to say, geez, oh, Pete, if I was just recording for 30 minutes for no reason, or whatever, 10 minutes. <laughs> um, but anyways, what I was saying is, is you can either humiliate them, which will give us the the monthly splendor, or we can show strength, which will give us mana. I think there's an argument to be made for both of them. Um, Golden Era is not something that I really value, not at least until, like, 10, because I think that's when we'll unlock our second idea group, or 7. So closer to tech seven, <laughs> we're already focused on admin. Our first idea group is going to be aristocratic. So we're going to go with that. Main reason you want to go aristocratic is because uh, here we will unlock cav to infantry ratio as well as cav combat ability. So we'll be able to have more cav and they're going to be 33% cav power is crazy. Like that's so strong. That means our cav will deal and receive 33% more damage. I believe. I think that's how infantry or combat ability works. And then... As I said, aristocratic, this is just vanilla, by the way. Uh, we're in Iron Man. 
Um, and I can actually show you here. This is Iron Man, and uh, I'm going to probably try to get at least a couple of these, like, um, Rebel ones, achievements. I've got most of the achievements in the game that I really could get. But um, either way, what I was saying is, is we're going to go with Aristocratic because it gives us another 10% CAV combat ability as well as CAV cost. So it synchronizes well with Poland. And then, then we're going to go Espionage, which will give us that extra 10%. So it will be at 53%, which is really strong. Plus... Nobody ever goes to espionage, so we're going to do it. Plus, it helps with the AE reduction uh, spy network, so maybe we can get some uh, some rebels supported in, like, the Ottomans and attack them and enforce the rebel demands. Maybe we'll lean into the, the, the LARP a little bit. Did I just get a disease outbreak on both of these forts? This game's a joke. I'm telling you. It is an absolute joke. So, meanwhile, we're just keeping an eye on this number here, this rebel faction. That's what we want. We want them to, uh, to pop. Uh-oh. Yeah, they got a big army. 23,000 men, only 6,000 manpower. It's more than I have, though. All the attrition that I'm taking over here. Let's go ahead and see if we can bait them into that fort there. Once we take Pest, we'll be able to um, basically do whatever we want for the rest of the game. This is mountains, so the attrition over here is pretty bad. So let's go ahead and have you guys spread out. Okay, the reform of Moldavia. So here's a nice one. I don't have any manpower, so I can't lose it. Hey, there we go. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, this will allow me... Ah, right. I can't do the, um, whatchamacallit, strong duchies. Hmm. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. No big deal. Um, now I think I'll turn the fort off over here. Try to save a little bit of money if we can. If I don't have to worry about it, then I don't have to worry about it. Plus, we're looting a little bit over here as well. I am American, after all. It's what we do. And uh, the looting is nice because it devastates the crap out of them. They don't have... Well, these provinces over here will basically prevent this state from getting any... Um, any... Uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, prosperity. Which is just nice. Anytime you can kind of gimp your subject, you want to do it. See, these guys are a march, so they actually get defensive bonuses. You can see here... Is a, or is a march plus 20%, so that's pretty nice. And then if they take defensive ideas, which I think Moldavia is inclined to do, we get an even bigger bonus, which is nice. All right, let's come do like half you guys there and then like over here and here. Now, I think we're going to humiliate them. No, 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 rather, I think we're going to show strength on them. I don't know, man. The humiliate would be really good. The sooner we do it, the sooner we'll start stacking up this... Um, Splendor gain. And it'll be easier to piece them out if I just humiliate them. Take money. And then I'll probably do like 75%. Something like that. I don't really want to get on any more of the forts. I'm just going to ask my subjects to do that. See if I can get my subjects to uh, help out with that. Now I'm looting this province just to make sure. Because all the provinces that touch a fort will get... Um, well, actually this one touches a fort as well. So... Basically, all these forts back here, the devastation is not going to be permanent. Where's my devastation map mode? Where is it? Here? There we go. You can see they've got a lot of devastation, but it's not its not going to stick around because as soon as they piece out, these forts are going to start projecting their, air, their zone of control, and the zone of control from forts does um, remove that. So, if you didn't know, now you do. All right, I guess we're going to have to get on these forts now. I'm going to keep looting them, though. Uh, let's just go with the tech cost. If I'm going to lose a stab, I might as well take some tech cost. And let's go ahead and do that. They actually got off the fort over here, which is great for us. And it looks like we're going to win the siege over here in Belgrade. Hilarious. Meanwhile, we're just looting the crap out of these guys. Easy peasy, right? Um, Pope man to like me. Well, let's see here. Any owned province has a port. Well, we'll be able to get that eventually. Whenever the Danzig event fires. Um, sure, I'll just take the money. No, no point. There is no point in fighting the Reformation. It is coming, and there's nothing you can do about it. So just, just do it. You know, I'll take the prestige as well. I don't ever mess around with those events. I just take the prestige. Oh yeah, what's going on over here? Byzantium getting, uh, getting clapped. Byzantium and Wallachia, I assume. Yep. Rip them. We'll probably come for uh, what is? It? What do we call it? Karograd? Is that what Sargrad is? Sar 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 Sarograd? Karograd? I assume the C is pronounced like a S, like S, like Sarograd. I think that's how the C is pronounced in Polish, right? Like, uh, this province here is, here, check me out. 
Pshiam Mishil. Pshiam Mishil. Pshiam Mishil. Right? Eh? You got Krakow. Uh, is this like Shisini or something like that? Uh, dude, Polish is crazy. Like, look at this one. What is this? Lek... Lekisha? Lesh... 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 How do you pronounce that? I swear. I saw a funny meme the other day. It was like, uh, I sent it to Zlevik. It was like, um... Uh, a, 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 a guy with a name tag. It says, yes, I am Polish. How could you tell? And his name was just like a bunch of random letters. <laughs> oh, man. Polish is such a strange language to me. Not a, not a bad language. Don't get me wrong. I'm not insulting. I have nothing but love for my Polish boys. It's a crazy language, though. All right, there we go. So we got our Humiliate. So we will start getting an extra plus two Splendor on the monthly tick. Plus tons of money from them, which is really good. Uh, obviously, our manpower suffered quite a bit. But it's actually not too bad. So let's get those guys over here. Our Orthodox Rebels are... Um, eh. We need to get them up at least to 50 before we can even worry about doing anything with them. So, so let's have you guys split like that. Um, I suppose I'll just take the manpower from them. I mean, they're, they're going to be loyal. I'm not worried about them being loyal. Let's have my subjects uh, be siege, you guys. There we go. Yeah, now we're just kind of chilling. Truce with the auto is over. Truce with the Teutons is over. Now, I don't know how that works if I were to attack them. I actually don't know what the meta is for Poland. I, I didn't really do any research. I don't think I want to attack them because I think I want to wait for the Danzig event to fire, right? I'm pretty sure that's how that works. So we just need to yoink crown land as we are able. Uh, those guys will go up here eventually. The Renaissance is here. They spawn some rebels. It's fine. To be honest with you, I can just see some land and fight a couple of rebels. Not a big deal. That's all good. These Orthodox Zealots are not making any progress. Feels bad, man. Ooh, definitely three mercantilism. That'll be useful. Yeah, our economy is not the strongest, but uh, we'll make it. We'll make it work. It will eventually work out. I'm very confident about that. Take the spy master, I suppose. Sure, Mazovia. I'll happily you like me a little bit more. Now. Yeah, Austria is obviously the, the alliance that matters. You know, none of the other ones really matter that much. So there is other things in our mission tree. Let me see here. The Prussian Confederation will give us some claims over here. That's fine. Once we reclaim Prussia, we have subjugation on the Teutons. That doesn't really matter a whole lot because we'll have it. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't care about that. Defeat the Knights will give us... Permanent claim, a claim on the provinces of the Carpathia region owned by the Ottomans. Okay. Now, break the ruse. That'll come later. Incorporate Mazovia. This is the one that uh, will move our capital, I believe. This one gives us the restoration of Union on Hungary. So, uh-huh. So, this one is basically to Minsk, West Nipir, Pripyat, owned by us. So, Pripyat is like over here yeah no yeah okay so we have to form the commonwealth first then we'll get a PUCB on Hungary unless they are a subject of Austria in which case we'll have to break them free and then PU them I believe that's how that works I'm almost positive all right as far as autonomy goes we are good we have no autonomy these rebels are just not not getting mad at me man is there anything I can do to uh make them mad no if it had a little less autonomy or a little more autonomy rather but it doesn't look like that's an option to us I'll turn the music down just a tiny bit i love it but it's a little loud on my end two tones are no longer a valid rival that's nice it means we got some pp from them we'll go ahead and rival muscovy and let's let them know that they suck and that we hate them give me big pp baby having pp like that's gonna be really useful so I suppose we're honestly just kind of sitting here and chilling and waiting, right? We could easily clap these guys, but uh, probably not worth worrying about, right? Let's see here. 
Denmark is my other ally. Or rival, rather, not my ally. Derp. Yeah, I guess we're just chilling. Just chilling in Cedar Rapids. Now, is this 10? This is 10%, right? Yeah. I suppose that's fine. Take this. The first round, any innovativeness you can get, just take it. There's nothing, there's no downside to having it, right? Now, I guess I don't need to be spying on them then. Let's get some spy network on these guys, though. Because as soon as the as the as uh, Danzig pops out, we're going to try to get them full occupied. Uh, otherwise, Danzig will... Because you can't control the, the peace deal. It's kind of cancer, but whatever. Oh, nice. Um, no, I, I don't care about that, actually. Their loyalty is going to go up over 50, so we'll be able to continue to yoink more crown land. So we're good. We're in a good spot. We're just chilling and biding our time. You can be, like, doing some blobbing and stuff like that, but I'm not in any huge rush. So what's going on with you guys? Ottomans attacked Serbia. Who's got... Garen oh, they, they probably attacked... Who did you attack? Ah, and these guys are guaranteed by uh, Venice? Yes. Okay. So that war is... Not like a hundred percent. Oh shoot, man. I didn't. I didn't rival them. Let's see if we. Uh, if if these guys would get a claim on them, we can attack them. That'd be really good if we could gimp the Ottomans early on. Generally, I'm not really too bothered about like doing meta moves early on, but shoot, man, if I could beat up on the Ottomans early on, early with the help of Austria, I will happily do it. We will see how that goes. I don't really care. I'm not going to worry about that. You guys need to get that claim. Please get the claim. I'm sure you probably got some spy network building, right? Oh, we get a claim on Kulm. Since it is Polish culture at the very least. Anytime you can stay ahead of time on tech, even if it's just for a couple of months, it's worth doing, yeah. The extra 20% production efficiency is uh, very strong, so we might as well go for it, yeah. Get a claim on you before we get busted. Yeah, I probably should have rivaled the Ottomans. Eh. Whatever. No big deal. Let's just have one of my uh, one of my diplomats go for my own subjects. That'll work. Here we go. We've got a couple of these buildings, so let's go ahead and build a few of them. A couple of trade buildings. Or is that one Lublin, huh? Yeah. And Lvov or Lv 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 Uh how is that pronounced? It's like Lvov? Something like that? Lvov? Lvov? I think I said it and uh Zlevik laughed at me. How do you pronounce this? Lv Lviv? Isn't it Lviv in uh it's modern day Ukraine, I think, right? I think it's pronounced Lviv in in uh Ukrainian. Anything you can do to stack up mercantilism, especially early on, is good. Because mercantilism gives you provincial trade power. So it's a really, really good modifier to stack early on. Rebel Uprising. Lithuanian Noble Rebels. Oh, me. Don't make me worry about Lithuanian Noble Rebels. I don't care about them. Obviously, we uh, have our maintenance turned down, so they're not going to be as effective, but... They'll at least still project a little bit. It is what it is. We should probably improve relations with the Pope. I know that we uh, we pissed him off, but... Eh. Eh. <laughs> we can also upgrade our centers of trade. I think Krakow is probably already level 2. These guys are both level 2, actually. Very good. Uh, I'd rather my trader guy didn't die. Yeah, I don't want him to die. Trade efficiency advisors are probably the best diplo advisor for money. Um, sure, I'll take the papal influence. I just really want these rebels to spawn. It's been 10 years and we still haven't gotten one, man. But I think it's around 1460 is when the Teutons uh, have the, uh, the Danzig event. I think. I might be wrong. Let's build that there. 
and uh, upgrade you. And that's going to increase our trade income a bit as well. You can also put your capital state on local trade power because your state uh, state expenses is it's 50% in your capital state. So it's pretty solid. Got some rebels pop in. Where? Nowhere I saw. We need to yoink more crown land. So let's go ahead and click the button there. Have you guys suppressed? Easy peasy. Lithuanian noble rebels. I don't care. They're a little too stacked, so shouldn't be an issue. We just need to get our crown land up ASAP. Did you guys get a claim yet? They did. They got a claim. Let's go. Oh, man. Do we do it? I think we have to, right? They're still at war over here. Ah, they peaced out. Shoot, man. Boys, I think we have to do it. We'll call in Austria as well. I mean, is it like... There's no way it's not the move, right? Let's go ahead and do it. Get our armies down here. Uh, I probably should recruit a general, though, and not have my guy... My, uh, my king leading. We all know how that happened the last time the Poles fought, uh, fought the Ottomans in this timeline, right? Rest in peace, Wenceslas. I think that's how his name was pronounced. Wenceslas? Wenceslaus? I don't know. Either way, never forget the Battle of Varna. Where is Varna? I think it's like right here, right? I think this is in Varna. Like Burgess over here? I might be wrong. All right, very good. So I'm just going to keep my armies close by, and hopefully they will not uh, not gang up on me. Oh, wait. We can march right on to Constantinople. We should probably do that then, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, they're coming through uh, through Hungary over here. That's fine. Are they still in this war? Ah, oh, they peaced out. Son of a biscuit. See, I was hoping that the Serbians would be able to uh, you know, make something happen there. Let's put our capital in defensiveness, because they're, gar they're guaranteed to beeline it for my capital. If they want to base race, I'll base race them, but uh, I'd rather not. I will get some spy network on them. Get some spy network on these guys over here. Let's recall you. Austria getting beat up on by uh, by their guys over there. I'll gain a little bit of corruption. I don't care particularly. Defensiveness, of course. We have a discipline guy. So we could probably look for a fight. I should probably at least get some of their men off. That's their entire army up here for the most part. Yeah, yeah. That is like most of their army. Do they have manpower? They have no manpower. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to get them off my forts. Especially the ones that they're going to be winning over here. Obviously, we don't want them winning any forts. There you go. So, okay. I'll just take the Diplo mana. Bohemian Conquest of Sternberg. Really, man? I guess I'll help. I don't really intend on actually helping, though. I don't want to lose a Diplo rep if I don't have to. All right. So, 2-3 or 1-3. Yeah, I guess we'll just send our 1-3 in. And then we can also uh, sortie out from the siege to get a couple extra thousand men in there. There we go. And we can stack wipe a couple of the Ottoman Turks. All right. Oh yeah, their uh, their armies are not feeling too good. Okay, so these guys probably have less siege ability than I do. So a little trick you can do if your subject is in charge of a siege, uh, what you do is you say, "Hey Mazovia, I want you to be passive," and then you unpause. Okay, um, that's not working. Oh, that was uh, right because I clicked the wrong one. So Moldavia, I want you to be passive, and you unpause, and they get off the siege there. And now you can see they give it to us. Obviously, it's not really a big deal because they had better siege ability or the same amount of siege ability as I did, so no harm, no foul. But um, now we just need to track down these uh, Ottoman stacks and beat them up. I don't care about uh, the, the Bo Bohemia War. I, I don't care about it at all. I just don't want to lose more men than I need to because obviously manpower is um, not something we have a whole lot of. Now, these are marches. This is a farmlands, though. Okay. Let's see here. Can I catch these guys? What are they doing over here, man? Again, just sorting out from the siege here. It costs mill mana, but, uh, it basically guarantees that we will win the siege, or the, the battle there. We've won the siege of Glipply. Nice little trick you can do. 
See, this is 16 defensiveness. If I give it to Moldavia, my march, they gain a little bit of extra defensiveness and I don't have to pay for it. So it's a double whammy. Um, so any sieges that you win, just give them over to a, a, if you have a march especially, marches are really useful for that. So those guys didn't flee anywhere useful for us. So go ahead and occupy those provinces back. Oh, looks like those are Glas, what is it? how is that? Glo Glogo, Glogov, Glogov. I don't know how you guys pronounce that. Um, we're not going to get the Renaissance anytime soon. So we might as well just take this tech, especially since it's mill tech. Upgrade our units. Be careful that we don't get killed over here. We've won the Siege of Constantinople. So the Ottomans not feeling too good after that. And now we just get them full occupied over here. And uh, every man that loot that, or every uh, man, like Turkish man that uh, dies in this war is a Turkish man that we don't have to worry about in the future. Take the prestige, of course. First one, always, always, always strengthen the noble privileges. That extra manpower is juicy. And uh, lads, I think that's a great place to call it for the first episode. <laughs> How's that feel? Attacking the Ottomans for the first war, uh, we could easily come on over here and uh, take Constantinople. <laughs> Look at the AE from that. I kind of want to do it just to, uh, you know, kick them in the nuts. But, uh... All oh, right, I don't want to give it to them, though. That'd be funny if I gave it to Mazovia. But either way, if you guys are enjoying and you are excited to see some more, make sure you let me know by leaving a like on the video. As I said before, if you haven't already, you could join the Discord, subreddit, or the Twitter. There's going to be some videos on screen now that you can check out if you are wanting to do that. Check out my second channel, Chubert. And if you want to uh, check out my Patreon, you can get some early access to Chubert videos. And I really do appreciate all that support over there. Couldn't do it without the patrons, honestly. I appreciate you, boys. But that's all I've got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot. And I'll catch you guys later.